Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi, today in my bench I'm going to show you how you can make your own uh, handmade uh, alligator clips adapter for your uh, DMM or multimeter test probes and this kind that I'm going to make it is compatible with the kind of test probes head that it has a screw type uh, head like this guy over here now is if you take a look closer look to the head of this uh, probe you can see that it has a, a, sc a screw shape 40 millimeter screw shape uh, grooves in here and this what we are going to use in order so you, we can screw in this alligator clips to this probe so we can use this probe as an alligator head so or alligator probe so first of all in order to, to do this you will need a medium size uh, alligator uh, clips like so like uh, the, these and I'm going to use these because I have these in stock and they work very well they, I can uh, clip them to, uh, to all kind of uh, uh, of probes or test point because they have a wide angle of gripping about an eight millimeter so and this time I'm going to build two pair so this is two red and white uh, red and black red and black and you will also need a four millimeter uh, nut that it, it can uh, screwed in to the uh, a probe head like we we are going to see now if I can just screw it with one hand as you can see it screwed in really nicely and without an effort and you will need a copper a six millimeter or seven millimeter uh, copper tubing like the uh, the kind they are using it in any refrigerator system like this you can get them from the guys they they sell uh, refrigerators repair supplies or from any guy that would that the, he, he work with fixing refrigerators and you will need a heat shrink isolation like these in order so you can isolate after you solder all of the component together you can isolate the copper tubing from making a short any kind of short so let's get started so back on our little project building the attachment alligator clips attachment for the uh, uh, multimeter uh, probes I cut four of these uh, copper tubing as I said earlier and I cut them in a unified length at 18 millimeter and I also uh, grind the angles of the uh, nuts the four millimeter nuts in order so we can uh, become round like so and now what we are going to do is install these uh, grinded nuts inside of the copper tubing and solder them in place and then solder these copper tubing to the uh, alligator clips 
as I, I will show you in the next footage of this video. So I'm going to do this and we will see how it goes. So back on the uh, on the alligator clips project so I inserted the uh, the nuts the grinded nuts and soldered them directly uh, to the uh, copper pipe and now I'm going to insert the uh, alligator clip itself inside of the uh, copper pipe and solder the uh, alligator clips directly to the uh, copper pipe and we will test it after we finish so here is our finished product and this is the way how I solder the copper tubing to the uh, alligator clips I bend the uh, where the lead of the alligator clips is designed for and I inserted the copper tubing uh, or the alligator clip uh, wire uh, side inside of the copper tubing and I solder it all all around now as you can see it is empty from the inside this does not uh, make contact of the uh, the tip of the probe in any means and the only contact between the uh, this uh, modification and the probe is by the is, uh, screw grooves now let's let's get the screw or the probe and uh, tested it so here you go if I just can do it with one hand just let me twist it as you can see it twists really nicely with no effort whatsoever and it is perfect it's like an extender for the probe itself yeah as you can see it is really really good and I can screw it with one hand so wow now all what I have to do is cleaning clean the residue of the flux from the uh, tin and using some alcohol and then isolate uh, the copper tubing by using a hot shrink isolation uh, so that we can confirm that this is isolated right so let me do this and we will see how it works so here you go I this is the heat shrunk or heat shrink isolation has been uh, cured directly to the copper tubing and by my surprise I thought I have a, a couple of uh, isolation uh, heat shrunk uh, red ones but I'm all out so I use instead of the red this uh, yellow uh, heat shrunk and they they will do the job very well uh, so all what I have to do now is put these inside of the isolation and they are ready to be used thank you for watching See you next time.